Welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops 6. This is the multiplayer. Um, we are going to be talking about my impressions on it. I have about two and a half hours, give or take, maybe just two hours. So it's not a whole lot, but I wanted to get my general feel of the game to you guys. So starting with um, the guns. So far, guns feel the guns feel really good. I'm currently using a shotgun in this footage, but uh, that's not the point because I wanted to try out the uh, shotgun. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, so um, guns feel good. Not a whole lot of complaints there. So, so the gunplay, the gunfights, they feel smooth. No real issue. Um, maps. Let's talk about the maps. The maps, um, I've played a good chunk of them. I know some of them are on face-off only, so... I know the game was supposed to launch with 16, which it, technically it did, but you realistically, if you don't play face off, you only play 12 of them. Is that a um, turn off? Not completely, but um, it is what it is. Spawns. Okay, let me go back to maps really quick. There are some maps that kind of suck. Like this one, what I'm on currently, I think it's Payback. I don't think it's that bad. I actually kind of like it. It's actually a really smooth map in my opinion. Um, there's a couple others. I don't like Babylon. I still don't like Babylon. That, the spawns on that map are just... They're bad. They're really bad. <laughs> That's just my, you know, humble opinion. Uh, spawns. Ties to maps. Um, spawns on some maps are good. Some are okay. And like in Babylon, terrible. Um, and there was another map I played on, I don't remember what it was, it was a couple of days ago, but, uh, the guy spawned right in front of me. I don't remember what map it was. I think it was Verkuda? I just, I can't remember right off the top of my head, but it was just kind of wild. He just popped right on in. Free kill, but still, which is unfortunate for him. Uh, Packet Burst and Packet Loss. Uh, I believe I have a sh short moment with Packet Burst in this, uh, video. Don't remember where in this footage. I do have some Packet, but in other games I've had it every now and then. It's not terrible, but it is rough in some, some uh, in my games. So Packet Burst, yes. Packet Loss, I haven't seen yet, but I've definitely seen Packet Burst, so... I don't have anything about packet loss, but I've heard people have had both of them. Maybe not at the same time, but I've heard definitely both. Uh, let's see. Time to kill and hit markers. Um, the time to kill on some guns I feel is a little weird. Like, sometimes I'll hit, I'll take somebody out in, like, five shots instead of seven. And then sometimes it would take, like, a half a clip, which is kind of crazy. And in other cases, it would be... They don't die at night, but I will. It's like two. So it's like, it's a little inconsistent. I wonder if they're going to fix that and adjust those guns. I feel like it's assault rifles and SMGs that have that problem for the most part. But I could be wrong. Movement. Uh, movement. I've gotten better, a little better at it. I don't feel as slippery as I did when I first started. When I first, my first match, I felt like I was sliding with butter. But now it's... I'm getting the hang of it. The Omni movement, I'm still kind of getting a hang of. I don't slide a whole lot. But I do every now and then. I try to use it defensively over offensively. So, yeah. And, um... What else can I talk about here? Oh, the SB, the skill-based matchmaking. Let's get the, uh, giant elephant out of the room, I guess you could say. To be truly honest, I can't say I've dealt with a whole lot of skill-based matchmaking. Because, again, I'm new to Call of Duty. I don't think I've mentioned that yet. I'm new to Call of Duty for the most part. So, well, the matchmaking at least. So I don't really know if I'm in a lobby affected by skill-based matchmaking. Which I probably am. And I don't know what's considered a sweat and not a sweat in this game. So... I'm just kind of just doing my thing. So, it is what it is. 
Uh, but I know that's a really big and touchy subject for a lot of people in the Call of Duty community. I do understand that. Where it's where it manipulates how the um, games run and play. Totally understand that you feel like you're being robbed sometimes. Totally understand that. And in a certain cases, it feels like that to me. But I don't have that issue all the way around, though. So I cannot comment or speculate. I can I can speculate, but I just I don't have anything else to comment about that. Like that guy, he should have. I'm pretty sure he should have died being shot in right. But again, I believe that alone about the T, the TTK, the time to kill in the uh, hit marker. Right, yeah, I show that I'm like 15 and 11 right now. Again. I don't say I'm the best Call of Duty. I'm, not, I'm far from the best Call of Duty player. I consider myself a decent Call of Duty player. Far from a good Call of Duty player. But I'm definitely learning a lot from Black Ops 6. I'm definitely learning to be better at reacting to things. Uh, quote unquote. And uh, yeah, so, but yeah, I'm having a good time with the game. I can't complain. Right, that was a bad grenade though because the guy pushed me. But that's not the point. What else can we talk about here about the game? I want to know your general thoughts on the game. Like um, your experiences in the, in the comments down below. If you have any problems with say the skill based matchmaking or the um, guns feeling awkward. Again, I haven't had any real issues except for a terrible hit marker here and there. But aside from that, the game plays relatively well. I will say playing solo is terrible. It kind of sucks playing by yourself compared to with friends in a party. Because you cannot set up at all. You kind of just have to get lucky. For the most part, at least. But yeah. That is technically my general thoughts of the game. I'm going to keep playing some more to get some more experience and learning of the game. So I can have another, like, review for you guys down the road. So I'm going to let this play out. And, uh, yeah. That's all I got. If you, if you liked the video, give it a like. Comment down below any thoughts. Subscribe if you haven't. And, uh... I'll definitely see you all in whatever video I have next for you guys. See you all later. Launch your UAV. Watch your target.